Mara here, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please make sure to subscribe by the end and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be doing a huge, huge collective haul for you guys. When I was moving back to Canada from Germany, I decided to make a bunch of orders online so that when I got home, I could get all the things that I can't get over there. And I had some packages also waiting for me from PR that was sent. So I have so many freaking goodies for you guys. So I'm gonna start off with, actually let's just show you how much stuff I have so you can prepare yourself. I have this whole box full, as you can see. So prepare yourself for a long video. Mm, my hair. Mm. And as per the last three videos, I do not have a ring light yet. <sighs> Anyways, if you want to know why, check out my last video. So let's start off with products that are available at Sephora. So the first thing is hair care. This is the only hair care or the only two hair care products that I have in the haul. So let's just get those out of the way. This is from the brand Briogeo. It is a brand that is all natural and doesn't use any sulfates or silicones or harsh products, which is so important to me because I hate silicone in hair products. And it's so hard for me to find hair products that don't carry silicone in them. Mmm, that one piece. Mmm, yeah. So the first thing I got is the Brigio, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. It just comes in this little box. I have used it once already and it is awesome. So what I do is I take it in the shower with me and I apply it after my shampooing. And this is supposed to make your hair break 81% less, I think it is, after three uses. So that is amazing because with all the hard water that Europe has, my hair has been very dead for the past six months. It has been breaking off, it has not been growing, especially with being pregnant. That baby is just sucking the life out of me, so there's no nutrients going to my hair. So this is really good for me to use. And the fact that it doesn't have silicones is amazing because my hair is very thin and it's very silky. Like when I say silky, I mean like it's slippery. So it's already very smooth, even though there is damage to it. So I don't need any extra smoothness. I just need something to repair the damage that I put it through. So that is why I wanted to use this Briogeo Don't Despair hair care. You can also use this deep conditioning mask um, for 10 minutes and wrap a bag or plastic or something around your head and then use your blow dryer on low to add some heat to it and that is supposed to just create an even more conditioning or whatever process. I have yet to try that but when I used it for five minutes in the shower, it made my hair so soft and so healthy feeling. So I'm super pumped about this. I can't wait to see what my hair looks like in like two months or so after continuous use. So that's that. Bam. And the next thing from Briogeo is the Rosarco. Rosarco. I cannot pronounce words. It's not my fault oil. It is rosehip argan co and coconut oil blend and it is just a hair oil. So I wanted to try this because my Moroccan oil hasn't been doing the trick lately and so I wanted to try something new for my ends and so far this has felt really nice. It just comes in this nice little package here. It's a more oily consistency than the argan oil if you can see. I don't know if you can see. But if you can see, it's more oily, kind of more watery. So a little goes a long way. So this little package can last you probably a really long time. I've only used it twice so far, but I absolutely love it. Again, it is all natural, derived from, I don't know, natural stuff. And doesn't have any silicones or parabens or sulfates, things like that, which again, I absolutely love. So you just apply a few drops to your palms, rub hands together, and evenly apply it to hair. And I like to apply it to damp hair, not dry hair, because as I said, my hair is very slippery already, and I just like to repair it. I don't want to add any extra sheen or silkiness to it. 
So now I'm gonna try and speed things up because I just babbled for a long time. So I'm gonna try and speed things up because this is gonna be like an hour long video if I don't do that. So getting onto more Sephora products. Let's see what I have here. I have tons of the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipstick. I got tons of shades. I cannot even go through all of them. So the lipsticks just come in this beautiful black tube, I guess you could say, with little ridges and Urban Decay engraved on it. And this is the shade Blackmail. It is a beautiful black cherry color. It looks like that here. If you want to see what it looks like on, I actually have a photo of it. I'll be wearing it on my Instagram, which is at Lashes Love and Leather, so go check that out. I got a ton of colors though, so I will just try and show you some swatches of the ones that you guys might be interested in. I should have taken things out of boxes. I actually took them out, swatched them, and then put them back in the boxes. I don't know why. I guess I wanted to keep track of what I had just got and what I wanted to include in this haul. So if I kept things in boxes and it just was easier, don't ask me. I'm not the brightest, so mm-hmm. Okay, so this one is Stark Naked. It is this your typical nude tone, but it is a very warm tone. So for me, I can only really wear it when I have a tan because hmm, look at my hands and how white they are. So, oh, I kind of pressed, I pressed too hard. So the colors are, or the formula is very, very creamy. You do need to wear a lip liner with them because they are so creamy that they might have the tendency to bleed. I haven't worn them long enough for that to happen. But they're super pretty. They're so pigmented and so moisturizing on the lips. I really recommend Urban Decay lipsticks. So I'll swatch this one as well. This is called Tilt. And it is a nice war warm corally red and it is super bright and beautiful. That's going to be amazing for summer. I am pressing so hard that I am like rubbing off product. Like my lipstick's breaking on the tips. So don't press hard with these because they are super creamy. These are from Estee Lauder. These are the Estee Edit products. And these are just a couple things from the line. And they are more focused on really dramatic, edgy beauty as well as dog. Frankie, sit. Sit, thank you. They are more focused on having that flawless, natural look that makes you look photoshopped in real life, which I think is a really cute idea. So one thing they sent me was the Beam Team Hydrate and Glow. I have used this a couple times and it is another one of those products that you can wear under your foundation or just by itself. It is a liquid highlighter but you apply this all over your face and when it melts into your skin there is not a shimmer there or sorry this sounds like I'm saying something negative but I'm trying to be positive. There is not any residue of like fakeness. I don't know how to explain this. It is just so natural like there's no shimmery glittery pearly anything you just have this natural glow and I can't even describe it like it's beautiful I really recommend this product this is not sponsored in any way they were just sent to me just to try out and then under the cap here you flip it up and there is a more concentrated version of the highlight and this one this part of it I'm not really a fan of it's not enough and it's too dark for me but if you had medium skin to dark skin this would really work for you but what's inside here I love it so that is the hydrate and glow and then they sent me the white mud exfoliating scrub and mask and I'm super into skincare right now because of my age and because my skin is just looking like crap lately I hope that it doesn't come through on camera but it's not good right now so they sent me the White Mud Exfoliating Scrub and Mask. I've tried this once so far and I really like it. I can't say enough right now because I haven't used it enough times to really see if it made that much of a difference compared to other mud masks, but I'll always keep you guys updated. Whew. And then I have the, what's this? Ed, people texting me, Danica. 
Danica, leave me alone. The Estee Edit Edgiest Coal Shadow Stick. It just looks like this in the package. Then you take it out. And I love this. This is perfect for grunge looks. It comes in this little pen. Pop it open and it is this awesome twist up black liner. You can use this for eyeshadow. You can use this for eyeliner. It is so smooth and beautiful. Ugh. I can't wait to do a really grunge glam look with this. It's beautiful. And then... They sent me a flash photo gloss. This is supposed to make your teeth look super white in pictures. So you can apply this by itself, or you can apply this on its own. And it is just a really lightly blue tinted lip gloss, but it comes across as clear when you apply it. And it's supposed to make your teeth look super white. Now I wear veneers, or not wear them, I have veneers. So my teeth are this color forever, and I find that my veneers are a little on the yellower side. They're the whitest they come, they're the whitest shade of natural teeth is the way they're sold to me. But I wish I got the whitest shade of not natural teeth, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm really excited to try this out and see if it makes my teeth look whiter. And then the last thing, is one of their non-natural looking things. This is the Metalli Shadow Cream and Powder. It just looks like this here. I have yet to try this one out, so I can't really comment on it, but it comes in this beautiful little tub, and you flip it open, and it has cream eyeshadow here, and this is in a nice peacock blue. Let's just swatch some, shall we? My hand is like ridiculous. Oh! That's nice. And then underneath is the powder. And this is supposed to be super foiled, so we will test that for you now. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. It's not really that foiled, but upon application to your eyes, it could be. So don't take this swatch for um, proof of what it can do. I'm going to do a look with this this week and we will see how it turns out. But these Estee Edit products look amazing. They are sold at Sephora. So moving on, also from Sephora, I got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This one is in Y255. They were sold out of the lighter shade. That is actually my shade. So I had to go for this one. It is a little dark for me as you can see. I am wearing it in I think one or two other videos but once I apply some self tanner to this mess then it should match perfectly. And I love the formula. It is a little bit thicker than the previous HD foundation. And yeah, I really recommend if you guys are filming on YouTube that you pick this up because it's great for HD. Also from Makeup Forever, I got, I should have like a pillow on the ground to throw my stuff on. I got the HD high definition, obviously it's high definition if it's called HD, cream blush. I love these cream blushes. This is in the shade 10. It's just a really pretty rosy peony pink and I love these cream blushes because they oops, are really a drier formula. They aren't going to be smearing all over. They aren't going to be shimmery or slimy. They aren't going to come off when you touch them. They're really high quality products. So I recommend that. And then another product that people really need to start buying but no one talks about is, is cake eyeliner. So I got the Cake eyeliner from Makeup Forever. It just looks like that. All you do is you dip your brush into some water or some eyeliner sealer, dip it on, and then line your eyes. I use it for tight lining right inside my lashes. And this formula is a little watery for me, even though you do mix it with water. My La Femme one that I ran out of, which was $2, didn't have as much transfer. Where if my eyes water a little bit, this one seems to be transferring to my waterline on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to work with that, but I really like it so far. It's very pigmented. Also from Urban Decay, 
I have the brow pencils, which are called brow beater, and it's pretty much the exact same style as the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I find that these are a lot creamier. This is in the color taupe. As you can see, it's got the spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. And I find that these are a lot creamier and I like them a lot more than the brow definers or the brow wiz. So yeah, I recommend those. And then I also got the brow gel. This is called the Brow Tamer. These come in colors. This one is also in taupe. And I find that it's not stiff enough. My brows are very long and they really need to be gelled down or they start to kind of just go around like crazy and stick out and stick out straight. And I need the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel because it is super like super glue on your eyebrows. So I prefer that one, but I do like that these are colored. I also got it in clear. I think I'll keep one of these in my purse in case I need to do any touch-ups. My phone is ringing. So with all my Sephora purchases, I was able to get some free stuff. So I got the Dandelion. So with my purchases from Sephora, I was able to get some points rewards. So I got the Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam and I wasn't super stoked on trying this. It's a matte highlighter and I was a little apprehensive. I love liquid matte highlighters, but this one is so dark when you take it out that like on my skin, it's not really a highlighter, but as you can see, it's darker than my skin. But when you rub it in, it totally lightens up and it just has this really pretty pink undertone to it. So this is actually perfect because my face and my body are darker than my hands, as you can see. And this is actually perfect for putting on under your concealer to really brighten those dark circles. I will just pop this on in the mornings when I'm running errands or something just to give my eyes a little oomph with no foundation, no concealer or anything. So I actually really like this. This is a pretty generous size, so when I run out, I probably will buy the full size. So also for free, these were with the codes that you can look up online. This is the Clinique, what is it, Pink Honey Lipstick. It is like a sheer lipstick, kind of like the Dior Tinted Lip Balms. And this is so pretty. This is another thing which is totally a no makeup makeup look. As you can see, it's super sheer. It just adds a really pretty hue to the lips, making it look like you just have really naturally pink toned, beautiful briar rose lips. So I love this. This is another thing that I wear if I'm just gonna run errands. And the last thing I got is the Murad 500 point. Mm. <laughs> it's a Murad 500 point bonus, whatever you want to call it, reward. And, oh, that's in there. And I've been using this three nights in a row and I really like it. It is an AHA face wash, which is a very generous size. It is a, uh, or there is a uh, advanced active radiance serum. This is more anti-aging, which is right up my alley because anti-aging products also work for Milia, which I have on my face. And I'm going to be 30 in like two months, so I need to start working on the wrinkles. And I got the Renewing Eye Cream. This is also a very generous size. This is like 100 bucks for this, the full size. And I think this is like a third of this full size. So this is like $30 worth. And then the Moisturizer, which is the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. And this is a good size too because you really don't need much of this. A little goes a long way. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out and if I will buy the full size, I will keep you guys updated. So then there's some, a little bit you know, more boring stuff here. I got, it's not boring, but basic. I just got some more brushes from Morphe. I love these brushes. They are so soft, like so soft and they're so affordable. I wish you guys could feel how soft they are through the camera but you cannot, but I, this one's powder on it still. But I really love Morphe brushes. I can't recommend them more. Also from Morphe, I have the 
12 P palette, which is just a bunch of beautiful bright matte eyeshadows. And I can't wait to do a really fun kind of rainbow look with these in the next week or so. And then also from Morphe, the 06 PC palette. This is a highlighting palette and this is amazing. Amazing for fair skin people like myself because it has just a white powder highlighter, which is what I use under my eyes and it's so hard to find that anywhere else that is matte and white. So for people that are really white and pale and fair like me, I really recommend this. It's very affordable as well and it comes with lots of other shades as well for every different kind of skin tone. So for your makeup artist and you're on a budget, this is awesome. I'm going to break something. I really am. And then from Beautylish, I just had to try the Bye Bye Under Eye. I've seen everybody using it. I've used it a couple times. I really like it. It's very thick. A little also goes a long way. I got it in the shade Light. And it's perfect for my skin tone. And you're just supposed to pat it on like that. I use a beauty blender to apply it. And I love it so far. And to go with that, I also got the IT, is it IT or IT? Regardless, Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And this is a translucent powder, but it has a slight yellow tinge to it. It is very finely milled, so it's great for patting into the pores. You don't apply this with a brush, you apply this with a sponge or with a puff, and you push it into the pores. And I have huge pores, so I really wanted to try this. I can't really see much of a difference so far between this and other powders, but I really like it just fine so far. Okay, and then from NYX, I just got it like three or four things. I got the HD Blush in Soft Spoken, which is a really pretty corally color, which will look really pretty in the summer with a tan. Nothing special there. And then I got the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in, what's this shade? I don't know. In six, I think. And I really like the feeling of this on my lips, except it doesn't dry down. So it's basically just a cream lipstick. But it feels really nice. It doesn't bleed or anything. So I do like that. It's just a regular lipstick that's really creamy. And then I got the NYX Vivid Bright Liner in the color 3, Vivid Escape, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I can't figure out these color names. And it's just a nice bright kind of natural green, yellowy green liquid liner. And it's actually not as bright as I was hoping for. I don't know if you can see. On my white ass hands, you can't see shines, you guys. But it's not as bright as I was hoping for. It's a little too yellow for me. But I'm sure I can make it work somehow. And then I got the NYX Matte Finishing Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray, which I really like. I prefer more affordable setting sprays because I like to just douse my face in it so that I feel soaking wet basically until it dries. So I do like this one. It absolutely lives up to the name. It is extremely matte when you put it on, so, or when it dries. So I really like that. I will be repurchasing. And then lastly, I have the House of Lashes Lash Cases and Lashes. And these were sent to me. I am like the biggest House of Lashes fan ever, as you can tell if you follow my Instagram. For all my looks, pretty much I wear House of Lashes. They have kept me up to stock. Like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to go through them, so one day maybe I'll do a giveaway. But they have released these amazing lash cases in gold, rose gold, and this kind of minty silvery shade and these are so awesome so you open them up there is a mirror inside i've yet to take the protective the protective wrapping off and then you can put three different lashes here 
and then you open it up and there is a spot for tweezers, scissors, and lash glue. So if you are doing a shoot, this is like perfect. This is all you need. Just figure out the lashes that you want to bring for the model and you've got everything you need in here. Or just carry this in your purse if you want to apply false lashes on the go. Maybe there's a hot waiter at the restaurant and you want to look a little pretty for them. So you run into the bathroom and you've got this. So I love these. They're so cute. Maybe I'll do a giveaway and give one away. If anything, I'll probably give away the mint one. And then I just have a ton of their lashes in boudoir. These pink cases are their more extravagant lashes. This one is featherette. I love these. And then I also have them in the more natural styles. This one is Smoky Muse, which is another favorite. When they come in the box with the pink and the mint, then these are the more natural kind. Um, I have Doll Face. I have Temptress. Tons of amazing lashes. And also, I almost forgot another thing I got. This was sent to me as well. This is an, one of the first companies that ever ever supported me so I can't not show these. I wasn't asked or paid or anything to show these but I just love this company and I love this idea. So this is another thing for professionals or just girls who love lashes. So this is the Pro Dozen Pack by Elegant Lashes. These are so affordable and they are amazing quality and you'll find a lot of dupes with Elegant Lashes that you will find from more high-end brands. So you just open it up pull it out and you've got all your lashes here. It is an awesome little case to take with you if you're a professional makeup artist. This is all one style of eyelash, but you can fill it up with different lashes that you want. So I really recommend you guys go check out the Elegant Lashes website. They are so affordable. They were used in the movie, all the Hunger Games movies, I believe. So they are really good quality and really affordable. So I really recommend you checking those out. So that is all for my haul, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it wasn't too long. I'm sorry that I don't have a better focus on my camera so that I could really get, get in there and show you guys the products. But I am working on getting a new camera and a new setup and everything. So hopefully my next haul video will be more detailed and you can see more close-ups of the products. But anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next next time. Okay, bye guys.